what is that? Did you guys have a good Christmas? I had a good Christmas. Let's have a great Christmas. Let's have a good New Year's. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with the, uh, the sphere right now. God knows. Love this place. Full of happy-go-lucky people with happy-go-lucky things. Everybody's having fun with loved ones. Everybody's having fun with their pets. Everybody's just a wonderful group of guys. And so I thought, why don't we take a moment in this moment of Christmas cheer and celebrate the greatness that is Man Online selling government courses. <laughs> a bunch of dog shit. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Hi. It's good to see you. This is my first like real stream back from that. Uh, a quick update. The book is still sitting there on its, its dang, uh, what do they call it? In review. It was supposed to be, they say it's about 72 hours at most. Now, 26, what's the date today? 28th? 26, 27th, 28th. 24, 48, 72. Methinks, if it's not out by like the afternoon, that somebody lied to me. Just saying. Just saying. But enough about that. Let's get straight to you. Oh, the other thing. Uh, after this, we're going to go do some fishing and chilling out on the uh, on the old terrarium thing. Been talking with Alex. There he is, the Sky Riminal Order. Didn't realize this. I thought he was already on the T-Rex Army trip, but he wasn't. And I was like, oh, we got to get him going. He's got a great channel. Go check it out. One of the one of the fun Manosphere guys, you know? But enough about that. I don't want to hear about this stuff. I want you to show me some whammon. No, no, we're not doing whammon. We're making fun of the boys. So let's take a look. What are we working with this morning? Oh, I don't know. There's one thing I do want to show you, but for now we're going to... What in the fuck? What the fuck? As an issue, as a such... Whatever, some quote. Who's Chris Williamson? Podcaster. Why do I have him on my Manosphere Monday list? Did he Did he tweet out some dog shit? <laughs> um, what the fuck? Greta Thunberg, Cobra T... Does anybody know what I'm going to get into when I click this and go up this rabbit hole? Oh, boy. All right. Greta Thunberg, <laughs> Andrew Tate. Oh, there we go. Uh, yes, please enlighten me at small dick energy. Get a life. What the fuck? Hey, I have 33 cars. Might be gaudy. Is he scowling at another photo? I didn't see that coming. It's crazy. What in the hell? Oh, dude. Okay, this reminds me of um, like a DC Marvel crossover, but it's like the most in, two most insufferable groups ever. It's like the the masculine blah, blah, blah space and like the uh, save the environment, let's eat grass space talking to each other. And they're starting wrestling promos. Dude, I can't not see this as like, we have Ric Flair at home. Ric Flair at home. <laughs> All right, so he's he's putting fuel in his gas car, and Greta Thalberg uh, isn't she like thirteen? How old is she? She's got to be a kid. There's no way that this isn't a Chris Hansen moment, dudes. Yeah, worlds collide. Worlds collide, in Jerry. What in the ever living? And then, of course, look to my to my uh, Indian friends. No hate here. No hate, but. Anytime I see some hardcore simpery or some hardcore dick riding, why is it always got to have the spinning wheel in between the Irish flag? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What in the fuck? Why? Why is any of this? Like, I think I was just talking. Was it on Jax or who was it where I was bitching about? We're well, not bitching, but I was like, Christmas. All you had to do was be normal on Christmas. And then these guys are just tweeting out the worst stuff. I guess they're in for a new year. Uh, if it's created zero fans, I'm dead. Oh, for fuck's AJ. Athletics. F All right, I'm done, AJ. What use does a pre-industrial society have for precious metals? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, so cavemen don't need cell phones. Thanks, I am. You bang up job. Not to shit on the guy. I'm not shitting on the guy. But I, I know there's a big group of people that love these, like, non-sequiturs that are overly complicated that make you like, I never thought of it that way. But it's like, there's a reason you never thought of it that way. You know? And they're like, yeah, this is why we're smarter. Did you know that cavemen don't need lithium? And you're like, Holy geez. 
It just occurred to me that I don't care. <laughs> Fair. Oh, sensitive. Um, yeah, heck with it. It's just monetization. Oh, whatever. All right. It's Playboy's bunny stuff. See, now Alex has got the stuff that I like. She likes the warmth of the chimney, bad camera, and to sleep like this. You know what this is? This is what they call in the business a human being. And they do things like own cats and own dogs and talk to people and have normal lives. Like, I'm all up for the, the He-Man, Whammon Hate Brigade and like, uh, what color is your Bugatti? But I don't know. It's just every now and then you like to know that somebody's not just doing the Pepsi taste challenge with their life. She's 19 and a Swede. Oh, she's legal now. Well, that's why Tate's like, dude, I got a great plan for you, man. I, I used to be somewhat of a cam whore aficionado. <laughs> Trust me, and my girlfriend has got a lot of experience in the industry. I think we can take you and make you huge. Have you ever heard of Chatterbait? <laughs> yeah, I bet you all forgot about that, didn't you? Bet you all forgot about his whole, like, how to be a cam whore business thing he was doing before he found, before he found Islam and whiskey, by the way. Uh, all right. See, you know what's funny, too? This, the fact that we got Playboy next to Masculine Peak is the perfect example. So Playboy knows what he's doing. I've talked to the guy. He, like, he's he's older, long of the tooth. He's had his fun, and now he's moving on. He's got the girlfriend, got the gym, doing the thing here. And he'll say something like this. Hey, remind your girl, compared to her, you got the strength of a gorilla. Like, it's hyperbolic. It's like, yeah, don't forget, you're stronger than her. And then what he describes here is stuff that you would do with your girl. You know, throw her onto the bed, have her bounce, tackle her a little bit. Lay her on top of her, hold her down, make her squirm. Yeah, like playful stuff, right? The st play the stop hitting yourself game. It's fun. Everybody's done it. And then this guy will be like, hey, I like that. And he's like, teach your girl that you're a gorilla. Pound her in the throat with a closed fist punch or something like that. <laughs> oh, Wando in the chat. Do you think the Manosphere should smile more? I think the Manosphere needs to touch grass, but... Anyways, boys turn into men when they let go of childish fantasies about morally pure, innocent women. You see what I mean? It's like, I don't take credit for this. He wasn't stealing my stuff. He's actually, I'd say he's stealing Archwinger here. Because he had like a great thing where um, uh, obsessing about notch count is an indirect pedestal. Just assume she's a slut, but don't obsess, right? The idea is not that all women are sluts. It's that you need to assume they all are. So that way you're never surprised and horrified when you find out she's got double your notch count, which makes sense. I mean, I've been saying that since I was in my 20s was basically I just assume every girl has twice my notch count and then just act accordingly. But then he takes that. He's like, how can I take all of the charm, all of the panache, all of like the wisdom out of this and just turn it into some incel fanfic? It's like, dude. Anyways, so what's one activity? Or, hey, here's some dads in the chat. What do you do with your kids? Go make some memories. Who wants to see what memories we're doing? Let's do it. Go fishing. <laughs> Build a fort. Relay races. Dude, this is like every 1950s like coming of age dad story where it's like, dude, we're going to build a go-kart racer. There was a Simpsons episode on it. Go outside and play. Have fun. Is this the best you can think to do with your kids? Build a fort? Hey, come on, at least a treehouse. Carpentry. There, see, this guy's in there. Hey, son, you're, you're a man now. You're seven years old. Let's get to work. Here's some trim. I need you to frame this house with me. <laughs> get up there. Take your kid to the gym. Oh, Arthur, pull in that jack energy. Build something with Legos. In fairness, this one's all right. I've heard of a lot of dads that like I introduced to Minecraft. I'm like, yeah, now I play Minecraft with my kids and we're great. Sometimes it's just spending time doing whatever they want to do. <laughs> hey, I want to bond with my kids, so I'm going to sit there and do homework and chores with them. Dude. All right, I got to get out of there. <gasps> Dominant Polarity's back. I love this one. Twitter barely shows our tweets to you for some reason. These Oh, don't worry, madam. I will be showing your tweets to many people. Terraria with my kid was awesome. I can see that. That's good, though, because it has, it has that, like, on-screen multiplayer for console and that, which is good. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Like, I was never tucked in as a kid, so I have no frame of reference for this stuff. So don't trust me with anything. But, like, um, I don't know. Just uh, just don't put cigarettes out on them. I think, I think at that point, anything you do will be forgiven or forgotten about. Anyways, so they don't get a lot of reach, and I'm helping with the reach. How much do they... 
95,000 people. 100,000 people. Look at this. 100,000 people. Zero engagement. 600 views. Don't tell me people aren't buying followers. Not buying followers. What's this one? 3,600. I got. I get this on a Sunday with my 25,000. This person's buying slave labor tweet subscribers. Don't tell me they aren't. I don't. Either that or they're the most lazy audience I've ever seen. Uh, how to get in shape. Stop drinking. Thanks, tips. <laughs> I was going to have a six pack and whiskey, but I'm starting to think whiskey might be the factor. Like, no shit. If you're not horny, you're not healthy. I mean, fair. Peanut butter is not a high protein snack. Fair. Actually, this stuff's not half bad. I don't even want to shit on the guy. <laughs> Eat slower. Um, the satiety hormone, I don't think it's leptin. I'm pretty sure it's ghrelin, but I could be wrong on this one. So maybe double check on me. Yeah. Okay. So finally, Manosphere Monday has caught on to a, like, a tweet I was going to dunk on where I'm like halfway in. I'm like, dude, this list's actually not that bad. Until he gets to drinking water at number five. Will it surprise me? Sugar does not make you fat. Oh, Jesus. CNN is a documented depressant. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cardio is like day trading for quick profits. Weight trading is like harvesting for passive income. All right. Who is, who the fuck is this guy? He's actually got like a decent list and he hasn't run out of ideas. Ghrelin's the hunger one. Yeah, that's what I mean. So when Ghrelin goes away, you're satiated, aren't you? 100,000 followers, decent engagement. How did a real person get on this fucking show? Come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Bro. <laughs> All right, so here I'll do like we're gonna we're gonna stop the shit posting. We're just gonna look at this one. So he's right. Sugar doesn't make you fat. Carbohydrates affect your uh, like your your uh, insulin, blood sugar. That's how you process sugar and use it just for activity or any kind of carbohydrate, right? But technically, fat makes fat. Fat gets converted into fat, goes to fat your store cells. But the way it works is that by eating carbs. You have to burn all of the carbs in your system before you can start burning fat. That's why keto works so well, right? So if you eat sugar with fat, you'll get fat. But if you just eat sugar, I mean, sure, you'll get diabetes, but you won't get fat. And you won't look great either. You'll probably retain a hell of a lot of water. Oh, Mish. Hey, Mish. You're going to have another uh, prominent spot in Manosphere Monday, dude. And yeah, this one, same thing here. So cardio, like you burn a lot of carbohydrates out of your system when you're doing exercise, but you don't burn fat. Uh, thing with weight training is it's also true. While you're lifting weights, you only burn a little bit of carbs in your system, like 200 an hour or something like that. It's absolutely nothing. But for your body to repair those muscles afterwards, it's a very inefficient process, and it takes a lot of energy to do that, which tends to increase the amount of fat you metabolize during the day because it's like it's a slower fat source. Oh, he lost me at 12. Great cold, cold, cold showers to stress. Dude, you were doing well to like 11. This is like the record. I want somebody, okay, we're making 11. 11 is the record of these listicles until people start getting into bullshit. <gasps> Chick fight. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let me see here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, dude. We're so adding this broad or this whatever. Yeah, you're coming into Madison Monday, uh, Bane. Oh, perfect. And it's a nobody too, so I don't even feel bad about fucking on their brand. When a girl is based, if she agrees with masculinity influencers and won't say names, that's the biggest red flag. <laughs> Let me explain. I mean, in fairness, yeah, but like, come on, bro. What girl's going to be like, oh, dude, do you know about the, have you heard about our Lord and Savior, Andrew Tate or Rollo Tomasi? And you're just like, the fuck? <laughs> As if she doesn't know him unless they have a makeup influencing channel. Like, whatever. Um, you want your girl to be innocent, and naive. Yeah, I'd like a stunted child, mental midget as my as my woman. That'd be great, dude. You can't drywall when you're innocent, and naive. I'm just saying. Actually, she's framing one of them, uh, one of the wall trim in our house right now. So that's pretty good. So if you hear any noises, it's because she's running her nail gun, her new Christmas gift. <laughs> uh, blah blah blah. If she understands the red pill and it's too late, she's seen too much. She knows too much. High body count, massive hole. Oh. Kate was talking about this earlier. It's like, so what's the difference between a girl with a hundred partners or one partner and a hundred, hundred notches with the roasty beef thing. And I was like, I don't know. It's a good point. It's like, it's the same motion. All right. So he's basically just, uh, you have no opinion. I mean, 
that's kind of like for you more so. Uh, there shouldn't be intelligent conversation and debate happening. Dude, this is what gets me about these, these fucking accounts. So Archwinger, again, I think somebody's stealing Archwinger stuff. There's this thing where it's like, uh, stop trying to be heavy. Just keep it light. Keep it fun, right? The idea is when you're on a date with a girl, they don't want to sit here, talk philosophy. They don't want to sit here and ramble about this, that, and the other thing. They just want to have some fun and forget about their date. And so just keep it light. And this guy took that and said, like, you should never have an intelligent conversation with your girl. And then he's on top of that. He's like, oh, yeah. And there's a lot of guys saying your woman's not your best friend. If you want to do all this unattractive stuff, do it with your buddies, like cry or talk about your feelings or whatever. And so he takes it all and he makes it like, if your woman's not sub par, sub room temperature IQ, then you're wasting your time. So what is, uh, what is our little... Isn't she like Indian Alley? Hold on a sec. Uh, ideological, whatever. Yeah, that's like some... Uh, what's that case? The Brahma? Alright, whatever. The dumb, naive girl this guy is talking about is quadruple vaxxed, infertile, and will rent her room to the gay couple. Good luck building your legacy. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's too, much aut that's too much autism. I can't even... It sells itself, bros. It sells itself. Uh, as a man, the ability to remain detached will give you power. Oh, is this another one of those don't love your kids guys? Who is 1% man? <laughs> remain unattached to a specific... Oh, he's talking about outcome independence. Sort of. It'll give you power. Dude, these guys take like the smallest, the smallest like nugget of red pill where it's just like, yeah, you know, have some outcome independence. So if she shoots you down, you don't get butthurt about it and get dumped. And then he takes it's like, outcome independence will give you the same power as the He-Man sword when you say you have the power. Lightning will hit you. Your cat will turn into a tiger with a saddle. Get on it! <laughs> oh, these guys. Oh. All right, pregnancy effects are not mandatory. Blah, blah, blah. Industry. Mis what the fuck? Oh, here we go. Saggy tits, mom bod, cellulite, pregnancy nose. What the hell is pregnancy nose? Have you guys heard of this? Is there any girls in the chat? Allie, what the hell is pregnancy knows? I don't want to know. The Wall Speaks is an easy to read guide on masculine frame. Dude, do I subtweet this with the mine is a not easy to read guide. It's a fucking good guide on how to read how to masculine frame. Motherfucker stealing my shit. Well, his book's going to be a banger. Let me put mine in there. You son of a bitch. Uh, self victim. Uh, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Christmas Eve sale. She wants to... F okay, all right, fair enough, Carl, whatever. Ah, oh, here we go. Manipulated children ask, what should I submit to as to end the conflict? Yeah, that's what children talk like. Dude. All right, whatever. I, 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 it's not, I can't. Oh, I got to go to... Uh, hold on a sec. All right, so now it's the one on the thumbnail, but I, have to, I can't remember where the hell it was, so I got to go look for it. Oh, yeah, this one. Chatty. Oh, Mish. <laughs> so I guess he's been on. So I don't know what I said. I don't even remember. It's like I keep telling you guys, if you ever like, oh, dude, that person you were talking shit about is just losing their fucking mind. I'm like, who are you talking about? And what did I say? You have to fill me in. So this Playboy Apollo was talking something about uh, a date or something. And I said something back. I don't even remember. It's like a quote tweet. I'm, I don't even think it was that. Usually the ones that get the worst reaction are my like very bland, milk toasty ones. Anyways, he starts talking shit. And then Mish is like, eh, there's no Christmas in Saudi Arabia or wherever. I better just start. <laughs> I just better start getting these dudes banned. Got him banned, suspended. He came back. And then I guess this is the first thing he did. For the amount of cock riding you do. Dude, if you're going to say cock riding, just spell it. Like, don't. This is like when people call each other dorks. It's like, look, if you want to be a badass, but you're afraid of the language filter, you're not a badass. I don't care. Just try it, man. Just just cuss. You'll love it. Does he at least pay you commission? I hope so. I mean, in fairness, I don't pay commission. And then he blocked Mish. <laughs> Looks like love to me. Oh, what did he say here? Oh, made an account just for him. Who the hell's exterminate? Oh, he's making multiple accounts. It's just shit on Mish. Mish, how do you get these guys? He's going to turn you into a skin suit one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, by the way, good one. Rob has a great thing, Women in the Sphere. Basically, for all the chicks that are doing pick me shit, they just say shit to rile you up because it's engagement. And that's what they do. That's how it works. Just stop taking them seriously. Treat them like your bratty little sister. And that's, I basically summed up his thing, but still give it a read. Uh, Toronto maid service stuff. I, I stand, I stand by this, man. Dignity makes being a success that much harder. I've been realizing this with like the whole, the Tate is the biggest man in the world Google thing. It's that he has no shame. He's got no problem putting his dick on there, doing porn things, beating women online. He doesn't give a fuck about reputation or anything. It's like, I don't care. Just pay me. He's willing to dance like a clown. Now, how's somebody who's just like a normal, has a shred of dignity content creator going to compete with that? Like, you just can't. So just be aware that your dignity and success is going to be on a scale. And so you got to pick a level of self-deprecation you're comfortable with. Me... My level of self-deprecation is I'm sitting here talking about the Manosphere on a, what is it, two Wednesday? On a Wednesday. Clearly, I have less shame than the average man, but I will not post something up my ass on the internet. Shout out to Pat Stedman and his enema. Uh, oh, yeah, last night I was at the Raptors game. Drake's in front of me with a skidoo jacket. I was like, dude. And it looked like woo wear. And I was like, that's the most Canadian thing I've ever seen. That's awesome. All right, uh, FBI stuff, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, so I got I got a chick talk. My girl sent it to me. It's this 32-year-old chick. Dude, I swear to God, they're like masculine polarity. They read all the same stuff. So she's like, yeah, I was dating a man. We're having fun and blah, blah, blah. And then I just decided I wanted better. So she dumped him. And then she goes, here's my year in dating now that I'm 30. And she did like, 29 or 26 date or 27 dates or 28 there was 26 facetime dates that she learned from hinge there was one from the bar which she slept with and one from something else i don't remember and she's like so i only got one notch this year i'm like yeah you only went out once <laughs> that's what i mean celibacy for chicks is a choice i might do like a full-on like red pill coffee from it like not today but eventually Anyway, so she's like, I went on 26 dates. They were all on FaceTime. Uh, there's like six catfishes or something like that. None of them. And she showed like the first dates was 26. The second dates was like two. And the third dates was zero. Basically, guys were like, dude, she's 30. I'm not sitting here doing a, a video interview to see if I even get to date with her. And she's like, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> then this guy, Mr. Manlet or Market, she didn't date at all last year. It's similar when people talk about casual sex. Like, this is not the take, bro. It's not the take. I guess in my, in fairness, I didn't show him the whole thing or send out the TikTok, but he's like, yeah, she didn't date at all. So much for the girls are getting cocked left, right, and center. It's like, they can. That's the point. Don't obsess. And then I had to explain serial monogamy, the idea that girls just don't, oh, the next one we're going to have fun with though, where they don't just like have one night stands all day. It's like usually a boyfriend for like a month to three months and then they dump them. And then they have a one night stand to get over them. And then they start a new one. And then that way you can rack up a tremendous notch count, but not be a slut. Cause that's not who you are. Oh yeah, this one. All right. So let me see what I got. So this one is Melanie Mac. I don't know who she is. I assume she's like a Twitch streamer or like a YouTube commentator, something like that. I'd really got no strong opinions about her. But when this came across my timeline, it was just some random. And every e-girl has this where it's like, look at me. I'm pretty. And that's it. I'm like, all right, fair enough. Look at this drip. So it's strawberry shortcake with some distressed jeans. I'm like, eh. And then underneath, I didn't know about this until afterwards. Where I was like, uh, oh, this is kind of icky. Like pedo bait. Can't believe dudes are all thirsty. It's like, yeah, bro, you got this. Come on, man. Have some self-respect. Stop being such a hoe. And then she drops this bomb. 15 hours to stalk her because she thought it was his future wife and admitted it in a video safely walked to the car it's like bro that escalated <laughs> bro and then on top of it jack found the video of this i we'll see if i can get it to play let me see you guys are gonna be able to hear this I, so i i get up on what i believed <laughs> what i believed was thursday morning and and i'm going through the day and i'm just kind of chilling out I'm he looks like a canadian slowly. trucker He's got vocal fry. Point, it struck me to look at the calendar, to take a look, a closer look at the calendar, and that's when I realized it was actually Friday. <sighs> I, I had 
long gone by my departure time, right? Oh my god. I gotta stop this for a sec. So on TikTok, there is a trend of chicks. And I'm totally putting this guy in Men Raised as Defective Women, where they tell a story, but it's long, it's meandering, it goes nowhere, there's details that don't matter to the story. And then they always say, every minute, it's like, you know when you used to be on the phone, and you were on the hold, and then every minute it would beep? Like your phone would do that to let you know how many minutes you were using back in the day? I know I'm dating myself with this, but whatever. So every minute they would say like, now to make a long story short and then to continue to make the story as long as possible, <laughs> as long as possible. And this guy is totally pulling it. He's even got the, the, the millennial girl vocal fry. I just can't be bothered. In time had just disappeared. So I had to scramble and throw stuff into it. I didn't look at a map. I'm like, I'll just have to check it out on the road. Uh, I know right. just take 10 and that take 10 West is going to get me to Texas, you know? I jump in my car and I'm off, you know, and, and like like within 15 minutes, you know, uh, and this because of when I left when I did, I know I'm gonna get there pretty late on Friday night, and I have, but I'm gonna make Saturday morning comfortable, you know. I'll get there with like four or five hours, of, you know, chance to sleep at the hotel. You know, like Do you see now why I tell you guys tell better stories? Uh, like imagine being on a date with this guy, or you know, being stalked and turned into a skin suit. Like, the catch of this story, is it putting the lotion on his skin or something? I don't know. And then I was like, no, Sean, this is, this is, a, this is, a, this is important to you, you know? Like, you want, if that's your wife, if that's somebody who's going to be a very important part oh, of your wife. Oh, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's my wife. I got to go find her. I did give, okay, this is like a notoriously famous red pill thing from the trp red it's actually one of the few pieces of new content i love dear michael from toronto and i love his name is michael and i love he's from toronto it feels like just in my backyard there's a guy here so this guy made a post in the red pill and he's like i know you i'm sure you know who this is my sister and you broke up this week it's all good you do you but you gotta stop texting her fucking red pill posts man you gotta cut that shit out she's changed her number she's changed her phone I don't, she doesn't give a, and she, and she gave it to my grandma and I have to explain to my fucking 60 year old grandma what a plate is. And he's like, you got to stop, dude. And I loved it. I was like, oh, see this. Even when a guy's like, dude, you're harassing my sister. You're going to turn into a skin suit. Let me help you. Just fucking stop. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> this, this right here is why you need game. Cause this is your alternative. Yeah, stop sending her Rich Cooper memes. All right, dude, fucking stalker. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I kind of, like, here's the thing. I get it. Nobody should be stalked. It's a crime. Nobody likes it. It's very uncomfortable. And if you're a little wee girl, like, she doesn't look like she has the strongest uh, uh, tendon strength in her knees there. Like, she's probably going to pull a hammy trying to run away, and then he's got her in his free skin suit, right? I get it. But at the same time, if you're posting nothing but, like, thirst traps online you you cannot like you cannot be surprised i guess is the way to put it the world's a dangerous place you can't walk around oakland at three in the morning with a fucking handful of cash fanning it in your face talking about pimp times and not expect at some point to be robbed nobody should be robbed but a little precaution but then i guess clout chasing is a dangerous game all right oh yeah this one Ah, uh, we're going to finish this one early. Actually, I was going to start the Terrarium early. It comes with the terror. Not my cheeks. <laughs> yeah, this one, Bad Billy Pratt was talking about it. And he's like, yeah, this guy's like, yeah, we're trying to watch TV, but we can't during all our sexual positions. So we're going to watch VR headsets. And I'm like, dude, just, t just say you're not attracted to your girl and you want to have like a VR porn playing while she's doing you. Just say it. Why do you got to pretend like it's so we can watch The Witcher? It's like, fuck off. <laughs> Guys, look, it's the internet, and it's God knows enough guys have had some crazy kinks. It's like, whatever, do what you do, but don't... Actually, it's because we're trying to watch... Like, no, no, don't lie on the internet. People can see. It's very obvious. Uh, just some obvious random stuff. You know what? Eh, whatever. Let's call it. That's good. Let's go switch to something a little more wholesome, you know? I don't want to... I don't want to sit here yelling at people. It's Christmas. What happened with Rich? Nothing happened with Rich. Has he stolen a dream Johnson left? The fuck are you talking about?
we don't we don't shit on the rule zero alumni here, sir, because they're all good people. I have a I have a strict policy of uh, be nice to good people and be not nice but funny to not nice people. So yeah. But as far as I know, all that's happened to Rich is he had a wonderful Christmas and we give each other a good Christmas cheer. Um, his snow, he was actually pretty good. We had a giant storm in Ontario, like the whole country did basically. But he's like, yeah, it handled it well. Which sucks though, because I know he's not bringing out his supercar. I think he just got a Maserati. So it sucks that he has to put that away. Or maybe he put lifts and a bunch of snow tires on it, which would be kind of Canadian as hell. Kind of like Drake with a skinny jacket. <laughs> yeah, it is a Charlie Brown playlist. I like it. Anyways. Music is loud. Of course it's loud. Because you got to experience that. There we go. Anyways, welcome Alex to the T-Rex army with the Sky Riminal Order. Apparently his work schedule is a little hard, but we'll make it happen. Anyways, you guys enjoy yourselves. I'm going to catch you on the other channel. We'll switch over there. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> 